Hey Steph, where are we? Out in the seed store. See that smile? Yeah. She's very happy. Thanks, M.I. Gardener. We are back now from M.I. Gardener. Uh, we have the dogs fed and Scott's making some dinner. So I figured I would go through all of the things that I picked up at the store today. So the first thing that I picked up was the Bare Bones Hori Hori, which I am very excited to get to use this spring, especially because it has a twine cutter and I'm forever trying to figure out how to cut garden twine because I notoriously leave my scissors in the house. Next thing I got was the Clyde's planner which will be really helpful because I can't quite seem to wrap my head around when to start seeds um, based on when I'm planting them outdoors because there's so many different things and so many different times to start seeds based on when they can go outside. Um, so this will be super helpful. And then I thought this puzzle was super cool. So that's actually going to be a gift for someone I know who loves to do puzzles, um, but I thought it was really, really pretty. Oh, hello. And they also have a Nero here helping me out. My seeds I had two orders for um, because I placed an order for pickup at the store and then also continued shopping while I was there. So it kind of feels like I bought one of everything, but not even close. So the first thing is Haver Poppy Mix, which I actually got for a friend who's planting a bunch of poppies in front of her house. And then I got Dark Opal Basil to add to the basil collection because we have a lot of different kinds. And Acorn Squash, which will be both for us and for the dog meals. Um, when Nero is losing weight, Acorn Squash is great for added fiber. Green Tomatillos. I already have the purple ones, but I wanted to grow both this year. Got gray zucchini, red malabar spinach, which I'm super excited about because that will vine. Black beauty zucchini, because you can never have enough zucchini. Spaghetti squash, which we really like to eat, uh, in, especially in the summer. Gobstopper tomatoes, I've heard that they're great and kind of excited to try them and that the skin is translucent, which is just kind of cool. Romanesco broccoli, I've never had super great luck with broccoli or cauliflower, but we're gonna try it out. Purple cauliflower. Texas early grano onions. So those will actually be going in within a couple months. 
some more poppies. These are the Red Californias and are also for a friend. You're on my bag, mister. Golden Sweet Pea. I put this order in a while ago and I don't actually remember everything that's in here. So it's a surprise for me too. Scott really likes cilantro. I don't, but this is called Colantro and it's supposed to be a stronger version. So we're gonna try that out. Uh, American flag leeks. We really like leek and potato soup. White Vienna kohlrabi. I just wanted to grow a brandy wine and I think black tomatoes are really pretty. So we're gonna try this one here, which is the brandy wine black. Pink celery. Always wanted to grow that. Uh, Long Island cheese pumpkin. I don't actually know if I have room to grow this, but we're going to try it anyway. Spicy Globe Basil is going to be put in a pot for growing in the house so that it can be, we can have basil all year round. There's a, there's a theme. So purple ruffle basil, lime basil, piccolino basil. So that one's a super dwarf little one that goes in a pot as well. Um, Blue Lake Pole Beans, Midnight Black Turtle Beans, which I just like to eat, so we're gonna grow a bunch of them. More Romanesco broccoli. So this is a case of I don't remember what I ordered. Uh, so this would have been in the order that I placed for pickup in store, and then I also bought one today. So that's okay though, because we eat a ton of broccoli. White Wonder Cucumber, which I just thought was really pretty. Casper Eggplant, uh, Coffee Seeds. So this I'm super kind of excited about trying. Uh, we don't have a ton of space in the house for tropical plants and I've been going a little crazy buying them and putting them places, mainly because our cat likes to get into things, but I really wanna try these. Uh, we drink a lot of coffee and I just think it would be really cool to have some from inside our house. So broadleaf sage, not only do I cook with sage, but it's also it's really pretty, it feels really cool, which is one of the things I like having in the garden. Uh, Russian tarragon. I think this feathered kale is so pretty. If you look at it there, it just looks super cool. I have this peach tomato, which is supposed to be fuzzy, and I just think that's super fun, so we're gonna try that one. Uh, Dr. Witchy's yellow tomatoes. So I have tons of tomatoes, but I'm not actually a fan of raw tomatoes. Um, so I'm gonna try some different colors this year because I like this one, because I've read a lot that um, non-red tomatoes are a little bit less acidic. So we're going to try that because that's usually what I don't like about tomatoes, but we do can a ton of tomatoes. Nah, I'm going to mess this up. Nas, Nas Chertum, so just pretty flowers for the garden. Chocolate Beauty Bell Pepper, Tom, Tum dwarf pea, so it's supposed to be a tiny pea that'll grow well in pots. So I think that'll be really cool up on our pool deck. Calypso beans, which is also known as the orca bean, which I just had to get because they look so cool. Purple top, white globe turnip, which I didn't realize I ordered. So I was looking for it today and couldn't find it, but I guess I have it already. Another peach tomato, because I didn't realize I ordered it. So I have a couple of duplicates, but that's okay. Uh, here's another turnip. Here is another poppy that's for a friend, but I think they're really pretty. It's the white linen poppy. Uh, another chocolate beauty pepper. So Scott's gonna make fun of me when he's editing this video because I have a few duplicates, but that's okay. Watermelon radish. I've heard tons about this uh, and really wanna try it. I just also think it looks really cool. And this is a golden ball turnip. And another poppy for a friend. This one's a really pretty orange color. We really like like pak choy and bok choy, so uh, I got some pak choy because I don't actually think I have that yet. This one is Alyssa Craig onion, which is also for a friend. This is slow bolt cilantro. Uh, again, Scott really likes cilantro, and we get really hot, muggy summers, uh, so slow bolt slow bolting is always great. So here's some more spaghetti squash. We really like spaghetti squash. Chamomile, so German chamomile. Is what that one is. So that's gonna go just kind of all around the garden because I think it looks really pretty. Uh, I'm kind of excited about this tomato, which is the pineapple tomato, because I think it just looks really cool with all the stripes on it. I've heard Jessica from Roots and Refuge Farm talking about the Paul Robeson tomato for like months and months, and so I really wanted to try one. Um, again, I really like black tomatoes, so we're trying that one. So these are just some shallots. 
which I've never grown onions or shallots, so we're going to try those and see how they go this year. Uh, this is a Mr. Stripey tomato, which I just think is super cool looking. And purple, purple kohlrabi. So now I have to go get all of those filed away in the file box just over there and hope they're all going to fit. So thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a blast going to Port Huron to MI Gardener. It was kind of cool because for us it's kind of like a local seed company because they're only like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from where we live. So that was a really fun day trip and we'll be sure to be going back. So if you like what you saw, then please hit that subscribe button to keep seeing what we get up to all summer long. See you on the next one.